This video will show how to install a Magura MT Next disc brake. You can find detailed information about the tools you will need for this procedure in the video description. Thanks to the flip-flop design, you can either mount your Magura Brake Master on the right or the left. Depending on the version, the following preparations must be made. You can learn about the difference between Carbotecture and Carbotecture SL Masters in the video description. When mounting a Carbotecture Brake Master, start by aligning the clamp. Arrows on the clamp and the Magura logo will help you with the alignment. A Carbolay clamp is aligned with the thicker side facing upwards. Now align the BAT pin or BAT cover in such a way that the catch is on the underside of the master. Press the catch down and rotate it 90 degrees to remove it. Now align it correctly. When loosening the catch, make sure you remove the retaining spring as carefully as possible. Now, move the lever blade slightly and pull out the cover. When mounting the clamp on the handlebar, align it with the thicker side upwards. Then, tighten the upper screw flush to 4 newton meters. Now, tighten the lower screw to 4 newton meters. Just tighten these screws enough to allow the brake master to turn in the event of a fall. To mount the brake caliper, first remove the transport device. Now, mount the brake caliper loosely on the frame or the fork. To align the brake caliper, you should be able to move both caliper and brake cable freely. Now, pump the brake caliper into the correct position by pressing the lever blade. Hold down the lever blade and slightly tighten the brake caliper screws. First check that the disc is friction free. Then, tighten the screws to a maximum of 6 newton meters. When fixing it in its final position, hold the brake caliper to prevent it from turning. Use the banjo connector to rotate the cable into the correct position. To do this, open the screw on the cable outlet by 30 degrees. When aligning the cable, Hold the screw in position with a T25 tool to prevent it from opening further. Then, re-tighten the screw to 3 newton meters. You'll find more information in the service section at magura.com or your local Magura dealer's shop. If you have very specific questions, we are also available for chats in our social media channels.